All right, this is an after-game report for Aragami and Aragami Nightfall. Very definitely like this game, <clears throat> but that shouldn't surprise you. I like the sneaking games. Uh, Mark of the Ninja Remastered, Sticks Shards of Darkness, Thief the Dark Project, Thief 2, The Metal Age, uh, Thief 3, Deadly Shadows, uh, Thief 4, I think, was just called Thief again. Um, and then Origami. These are all very much sneaking games. Um, I like these sorts of games with true sneaking where you have a light level and a sound level. I like these better than the games that pretend to be sneaking games uh, like Hitman, the Hitman series, and the Assassin's Creed series. Not that I hate those games. I don't. Um, but Assassin's Creed is not a stealth game at all. It's, it's a platformer that's just extreme 3D platforming. Um, there's, there's no real sneaking involved. There's escaping. Um, and then Hitman, you just disguise yourself. Or at least you used to. I don't know if the new Hitmans you still can, but, uh, like the original Agent 47 and Silent Assassin, you just, you'd kill somebody and you'd put on their costume, and just because you were wearing their costume, did everybody recognized you as one of those people. I mean, like, even if it was a black dude and you kill this black gangster guy, you take off your suit, you put on his thing, and you walk around just exactly as if you're him, um, which is ridiculous, but um, the the sneaking was, was not really there. Um, so I like these, these games where you go slow and easy, and there are patrol patterns, and you really do have to sneak like there are fields of vision for all of the guards and awareness levels and, and that sort of thing um so yeah uh, I got 100% achievements on this and it was not I mean I guess it was relatively easy all things considered uh, but it was very tedious especially nightfall uh, getting the 100% enemies killed to get the Oni medal in Nightfall on the very last mission that was rough um, and it, it took me over a dozen tries to get it um, especially at the very end because of the timer you have a 10 minute timer and there's only you have to get up the you have to clear everybody on the bottom and then you have to get all the way up to the top of the cliff and there's only one direction you can take it tells you you can either go left or right, like the, in the game, you can either go left or right, and that's legit, but the left side is all traps and the right side is guards, so if you're going to get the Oni Medal, you have to go right in order to clear all the guards in the cliff side going up to the top of the cliff. Um, but yeah, you have to clear the entire level in 10 minutes and get to the top of the cliff before the timer runs out, which is doable. But you're not going to get it on your first try. You're going to have to play the, the uh, mission over and over and become familiar with that area so that you can do it in 10 minutes. Um, and hopefully you start the, that 10 minute timer with like full everything. You have two charges on your Ninja Star, your exploding Ninja Star thing. You have two charges on your smoke bomb. the other one. Oh, uh, summoning your buddy to go and, and assassinate somebody. So, uh, you know, if you have two charges on the the uh, buddy assassination and your throwing weapon, 
and um, the smoke bomb, then you should do fine. But you're you're going to have to move. You you can't go slow. You can't do the. You can't really recharge. Use the the thing where you, the panther drags somebody into the underworld and it recharges your ability. You can't really do that because you just don't have time. Anyway. So, uh, one of my favorite things about this game is you can go through, after you have finished a level, you can go back to the level and you can reattempt that same level with your upgraded abilities. Which, I really, really like games that let you do that, like Mark of the Ninja. Mark of the Ninja was the same way. I am. So I've got this fancy outfit that you unlock by killing 100% of the enemies in a level in every single level. So, <clears throat> everything is unlocked here, so I have the uh, kunai, which I just call them ninja stars. I know it's not literally a star, but whatever, it's a, it's a weapon that you throw. A bladed weapon, piercing weapon, whatever that you throw. Eh, whatever. Um, you got two of those, you have two of these traps. Um, the upgrade on this one, so the, the first one, you just unlock it, and then the second one, uh, it's silent. Whenever you kill somebody with them, it doesn't make, they don't, they don't cry out or anything, it doesn't make any sound, so it doesn't alert guards. Uh, this is a trap that you can set on the ground, and when you trigger it, you can set it on the ground and then walk away, and then when you trigger it, um, it sucks guards into the underworld and their bodies disappear. Uh, when a guard is close enough to it that they will be sucked in, you'll see a little red symbol above their head. Similar to when you're targeting with the kunai. upgrade to the trap is that you can actually place it on a person. You don't have to just place it on the ground. And uh, then you just watch that person walk around and uh, if you want if you want to get two or more people just wait until that person 
has a bunch of people around him as he's walking around on his patrol. And then trigger it. here, which I, I think that's one of the upgrades, since I can't even get to the upgrade screen anymore. Um, oh, I, maybe I can. Yeah, oh, I can. I, can. Um, I think sucking up the body is... There you go. So that's one of the things that you can unlock um, under origami skills. So you have your normal uh, throwing weapon thing, and then the upgrade is they don't they don't do anything here. You you or they don't scream or whatever. Uh, here you've got the trap, and then here you can put the trap on a person, and then this is your you just basically you throw sand in somebody's face, um, and here you just throw the sand further. Yay. Uh, invisibility, and then invisibility and uh, silence also. Uh, this one I didn't use much at all. Um, it's mostly, for me, it was mostly only useful for archers. Like if I couldn't get an archer to get off my back, then I'd do this and then go around the opposite side while the archer was focused on the, the shadow decoy. But it's like a shadow of a shadow. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just, I barely ever used it. And this, I'm not sure I ever used this one single time. Um, reveal enemies through walls. Um, and then this one, you attach the mark of the origami. It puts a little circle, a little white circle above their head. And then as they wander through the, the level, you see that little white circle moving around. And so even if they're like behind a wall or something, you can still see the little white circle moving around. Um, so the Shadow Leap you start off with, uh, I don't remember if this is an unlockable or not, but you, you go up onto a ledge, mostly there are archers on ledge, ledges, not entirely, but mostly, and, uh, in the final mission of Nightfall, trying to get 100%, uh, enemies killed, this was important, because getting up to all of the archers up on ledges there weren't any any uh like stairs or anything like that so i'm like well how did they get up there i don't know but i just shadow jumped up there and then uh recover shadow faster yeah great um create shadows is another one you start with uh make the body disappear again i don't know if you start off with that or not this one right here is super crazy important. It's like the single most important upgrade that you can get. Your three defensive and three offensive techniques you get two charges of. This right here is a very slow attack, but it recharges which everything is currently on your cape. Um, gives you one extra charge, but it's a slow attack so you can sneak up behind somebody and just stab them and they're dead or you can sneak up behind somebody hold down the attack button and you get this timer that goes around and once it gets all the way around you summon either a dragon or a snake it's random um, either a dragon or a snake comes up from from the underworld it grabs the person and sucks them down into the underworld and then you get one extra rune um, on on your cape of whatever your current active skill is. So just make sure that if you have a skill that you've used and you only have one rune on it on your cape, make sure that that's the active rune 
when you do the shadow kill so that you recharge. Uh, the bird I use constantly. Um, this one was the very last skill that I got. Like, after I recovered every single scroll, I went ahead and got this one. I'm the guy that searches around the entire map anyway, looking for stuff. So, um, gosh, were there any scrolls that I had to look up? I don't remember. I actually completed this game a, a, a couple of weeks ago, but I don't... I hadn't uh, I hadn't done the the post game review. I don't remember if I had to. I don't remember. But these two are are good. Um, this one I didn't use. Not sure I ever once used that. Um, this I use constantly. Like I'm running around the the level nonstop, whistling all the time and uh, keeping track. Uh, it, it'll show you your current objective the, in the little triangle, the thing that looks like the, the uh, Deathly Hallows symbol. Um, but it'll also show you little shrine symbols to show you where the, the recharge shrines are that recharge your abilities. Um, so, uh, yeah, you have the exploding uh, or not exploding, that's that's Nightfall. You have the regular kunai, and then the trap, and then throw sand in somebody's face, and then the upgrade is you throw it further. And then this is, you can see the guards through walls. Uh, turn invisible, and the upgrade is uh, invisible and silent. And then this is, you create a shadow of yourself that will attract the guard. Um, as long as you create the shadow of yourself. As long as you create the shadow of yourself, not also in shadows. So if I create it right here, so I'm in 100% in shadow right here. Now if you... If you uh, play at a higher difficulty, they'll see you if you're this close, even if you're in the shadows. So don't take what I'm doing here as an example of how you should play when you're on hard. This is easy mode. So there, there's the shadow and the guards are like, what is that? What is that thing? It doesn't actually do anything. And then, so you can see right here, the timer goes around. Guard saw me there. I was in the light. So we'll put him right here. So blind these guys. So all three symbols there. They were all blinded. None of them could do anything. Um, but because I ended up with all three on me, I couldn't do the uh, the recharge. We'll just have to recharge later. So that's recharged, and now, what else did I use? Oh, I used the, uh, the, that thing.
charge this. And we'll get a snake again. There is also a dragon. And that's everybody. Okay, these pink bushes here, you can always hide in the pink bushes. Even when they're in the light, like this is in the light, but it shows me as being in the shadow. somebody sees it. And I guess that's it for this side. Yeah, we won't waste time. We'll just go ahead and oh, actually a little waste time taking care of this guy. Okay, like I was saying, this book, these red, pink red bushes. You can always sneak into. Always. There you go. Uh, so I was spotted once. The guy that I ran up to and stabbed spotted once, which is why I don't have an A. Otherwise, it would have been. I'd have had uh, 50 points. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe no enemies killed. Um. But, you can go back and uh, replay things, which is cool because you have all the scrolls that you need to get. Um, so, and there's easy, and I don't know how it changes anything. Like, uh, if they detect you, they just attack you. They just attack you and they kill you in one hit. So I don't know how easy, normal, or hard changes anything. Um, I think like it doesn't change their health either uh, because you can kill them in one hit as well. There, There is no attack that is not a total kill. There is no damaging. There is absolutely no damage done in this game. If they hit you, they kill you. If you hit them, you kill them. Uh, so there are no health bars or anything. Um, I do know that the difficulty ramps up uh, the number of people. I think that it also ramps up their awareness, their level of awareness, like the distance at which they can detect you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. So, come on. Skip the cutscene here. Gotta wait for her.
sword now. So did you see somebody there? That guy uh, detected me a lot further away than he normally would have. So let's go ahead and place a shadow right there to distract that guy. He'll go walking over there. He saw me. Well, we're not going to get no detections this time. Come on. Up, oh, there you go. Or not. So we'll place one of those guys there. To distract him. And then we go up here. Alright, so we're all out of the shadow things. And the intent is to do this. Go ahead and do that. The intent is to do this with no detection. Or no kills, rather. Which we've already failed the no detection part. But what I can do here is a attempt to do a no kill run. So, no kills anyway. Um, we can definitely do a no detected and no kills though. I'll just need to be a little more careful. So, let's try this one again. See if we can get an S rating again on the beginning. And we're going to blow through all of our abilities. Uh, well, I guess we won't use the killing, the the uh, killing abilities, or we can just instead of doing a uh, no threats killed, we could go for an all threats killed. Uh, gotta do the cutscene. Yay! And she darkens everything so that I can jump. Through. wall jumps are very important. You need to be able to jump on the wall to target a wall and shadow leap to the wall and then fall down. You gotta do it. You 
you won't make it past uh, some of these levels if you can't do it. trap on him. Now, we're going to come over here and we are going to put a shadow as soon as these guys turn around. Put a shadow right here and see if we can get all three of them together. if we can get all three of them. So you have to have the trap selected in order to trigger it. There, and it sucks all three of them in. So that's how you do that. should have done a recharge. Eh, whatever. But I didn't, so that's that. I'll recharge off of this guy. So I used a shadow and a trap. I'll go ahead and recharge the trap here. Dragon is recharged, or no, the dragon is recharged. The trap is recharged now. <clears throat> so let's start oh, over here in the. cemetery. See that guy there. So respawns cost you points. If you can do it with no respawns ever, you get points. So what we're gonna do here. looks like. Or maybe not. Maybe he stopped at the base of the stairs. Where'd he go?
guy. Let's go ahead and take him out from a distance. Ah, there's an alert right there. I don't think I can get to that guy in time. Oh, I can. So this will definitely be a full clear, because that's everybody now, except this one last guy, which I will just go ahead and blind him, and then stab him. Now, once you have cleared a level, you have... Oh, can I not... Oh, I don't have the whistle yet. Oh, the chime. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, at a certain point, you get a chime. And it's it's part of a mission completion thing. Uh, you get a chime, and then you can ring the chime as a distraction to attract somebody. So, like, if there's a guard going around the pillar and you want him on a certain side, I could, right here, ring the chime. If he's standing right there, I can ring the chime to get him to come over here, and then come around on this side as he's walking in that direction and that puts me behind him um, but I don't have that yet so I can't just ring the chime and figure out if I've cleared the level but I think I have um, no alerts but I was detected so lost points there and I had to respawn once so lost points there so right there, no respawns, you would get a bonus right there if there were no respawns. I was discovered once, uh, but they didn't sound any alarms. Oh, but I was detected. It's still, the, the meter got high enough. Um, they didn't blow the horn to alert everybody, but... Anyway, so that's the game. Um, I The only thing I haven't done, and it's not an achievement, so I kind of don't care... Uh, the only thing I haven't done is complete everything on uh, the hardest difficulty. I may at some point go back and try to get all medals on the hardest difficulty. The no detection and no alarms will be easier to do on the hardest difficulty. Killing everybody in the entire mission, in the, in the entire area, uh, doing that on the hardest level considering that it like doubles the number of people there will be a whole lot harder and I'm not sure uh, that's doable. So I've got all these skins unlocked. The only things I haven't unlocked are completing all the chapters on all difficulties, but eh, whatever. So there's your original. There's what he looks like in the dark. You can make him blue. It says turquoise. It looks pretty blue to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind or something. Copper looks pretty red, like that's blood red, and this is, to me, this is like a brick red, almost a brown. Um, I like this one. It's more subdued. This is all bright and shiny. This is like a subdued red. Um, khaki, to me that looks green. That looks like uh, army green, but whatever. I mean, they can call it khaki if they want. In the shadows, it still looks the same. Uh, the blue ghost or the all-white ghost. I like the white ghost. Um, this is actually the one that I played a lot of the game on once I got it unlocked, and then I went back and I was trying to get all the scrolls and everything. Um, once I got this one unlocked, I, I played a lot uh, with this. Uh, but this, uh, this, I think, is my favorite one. Uh, the, the Oni mask ones are very iconic. So I did that for this video, but this is actually my favorite one. And, uh, yeah, check it out. When, he, uh, when he's in the shadows. Love that mask. Um, so yeah, the Wraith, in the shadows they're all the same, but the Wraith just has a, a blue cowl, and then the ghost has a white cowl. And then these, these things are weird, I don't know like what it's meant to be. It's like a, a three-bladed ninja star on his face or something like that. Um, and one is yellow 
like one is yellow with a blue cowl and then one is black with a yellow cowl. Um, whatever. And then the Devil and Nightmare, so those are for um, no detection, I think. No, the, the Wraith and the Ghost are for no detection. I don't remember which one is which. And then these two are for no killing. Never detected. These are for never ki don't kill anybody in the entire. And then these are for kill everybody in the entire level. And they're just the, the polar opposites uh, color-wise. This is black with the red cowl. And then you have red with the black cowl. Um, and then I've completed the whole thing on, on easy. The very, the very last one, yeah, I did it on easy. Um, and I've completed most of them on normal and some of them on hard. Um, but there he is in the shadows there. Oh, I, I'm not sure I uh, showed the Oni in the shadows there. The dragon on his arm. Fox paw. Little three bladed ninja star thing. And this guy has, uh, I don't know, what? A vine or a fireball? Something going all the way up. Or I guess it's the same as whatever this symbol is there, which I don't know what it's meant to be. And then the dragon, this is the same as, as the Oni, it's it's uh, it's the same, but in the Oni it doesn't glow when you're in the, in the darkness, in your Oni mask. So those are the, uh, the unlockable skins. Um, and then there's there aren't any unlockables at all in Nightfall. Uh, you have to collect swords instead of collecting scrolls, but collecting them doesn't actually do anything except give you the achievement. Um, there are no abilities to unlock, there's no skins to unlock or anything in Nightfall. It's just, Nightfall is the prequel to Aragami. Um, and everything is unlocked from the beginning. You have all your abilities from the beginning, and you can play either a guy or a girl, and you, you go through doing more or less the same thing that you've done with sets up the story that becomes uh, Aragami. Um, but yeah, you don't you don't ever upgrade abilities, you don't unlock abilities, you have it all from the very beginning. And there's only four chapters. Uh, whereas for Aragami there are So that's uh, that's the after after game report for Aragami. Um, I'd say this is one of my favorite games for like the 20 teens. I understand it's the 2020s now. Um, I'm not sure I've actually found a game that I really like that's come out in the last two years in in the actual 2020s. Um, but we'll see. I mean, stuff keeps coming out every day. Um, I think the latest game... Well, I don't know. That's that's for a different video. Um, Aragami, it's it's a slightly older game. I mean, the graphics aren't super amazing. They're, they're not super detailed. You know, it's not like Sticks Shards of Darkness level of, of detail and care put into the world. Um, but it's still very playable, and I really like it. So if you like the sneaking games, uh, definitely give it a try. It's it's more casual, I would say, than something like Sticks Shards of Darkness, which is a lot more difficult than than uh, this one. Um, and it just has more to it. But this one is is worth playing. You'll you'll complete it in like half the amount of time you spend doing sh sticks. Uh, this took me. 30 like 34 hours or something like that total gameplay to beat which is way more than games like um inside like inside the side scroller inside i i beat that game in like eight hours or uh journey which i really liked journey i know there are some people who were just bored to death by it but i enjoyed journey um except the very end the very end was like oh my god the very end of Journey was where I busted out my uh, my rivet 
put it on the walk button and I literally just left the room uh, because at the end of journey you just walk for forever straight forward um, and there's there's nothing happening and there's no point to it there's nothing even to look at on the screen you're just walking through a snowstorm um, but yeah journey I completed in under eight hours so yeah, this this is certainly there's more to it than that, and, and there are the patrol patterns, and you get to explore the entire level and, and figure out which direction to go, which direction you want to go, whether you want to deal with the traps or deal with the patrols. Um, you can go up, you can go down. Sometimes you can go through tunnels. Look out for tunnels because there are tunnels. Um, so yeah, I like it, uh, and it'll stay on my list of games that I truly enjoyed uh, for quite some time in one of my top games. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. 100% completion on Origami. <laughs>